It's Amber at Orange Olive Road. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my new videos. In this video, we're going to be making a floppy eared bunny. In total, this bunny took me approximately 45 minutes to make. If you would like to see this step-by-step -step written out, I also have a pattern in my Etsy shop. This bunny is perfect for Easter gifts, but also for baby showers and birthdays. Let's talk materials to make your floppy ear bunny. For this project, I'm going to use a large knitting machine, a 22 needle knitting machine, some worsted weight yarn. Now this yarn here is Craftsmart yarn. I found it at Michael's. I'm using this for the limbs, ears, and body. You need some polyfiber like this, some contrasting yarn for facial features, and then I have here some Kawaii safety eyes, just like this, and then also a little safety nose, all of which I found on Amazon. Then of course you're going to need some scissors, okay, and then also I'm going to use a couple of needles, tapered and straight. Once your work is off the loom, you want to give your entire piece a good stretch, just like this. This releases the tension that was created by the knitting machine. Don't forget to secure your color joins if you did uh, change your colors for the face and the body. If you're doing it all one color, that won't matter. Now you can see here, I'm going to pull the tube in on itself and I'm going to look for any lumps, bumps, or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep stretching as I go, okay? And I'm gonna keep smoothing. I want this nice and clean and flat. So keep adjusting. Don't be afraid to stretch it and pull it, right? So then I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these ends just like this. I wanna pull them closed. Again, if it curls, just take some time here and make the work real neat. This is going to be your head, so you wanna make sure that the top is nice and even. Okay, trim those last little edges just like this. Okay, if it starts to look like that, don't worry. Again, take your time here, right? And keep smoothing out the top. I'm gonna keep adjusting and I'm gonna keep smoothing. Okay, so you'll see me smoothing a lot and I do that because this is where I'm gonna start adding safety eyes and all my facial features. So I don't want a lot of lumps and bumps all the way around my work. So now we're gonna go ahead and secure the top piece right here. Okay, so secure with a surgeon's knot and then now that I have all the hole at the top closed, I'm going to thread my needle through and I'm going to pull it into the body. So just hide those ends. Now we're ready to start putting our facial features in. So again, I'm gonna smooth, 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 okay? So nice and flat. So I'm feeling pretty good about this space right here. So right here is where I'm going to put my facial features. Before I add my facial features, I'm going to double strand some yarn like this and I'm gonna create the neck. So I'm gonna put my hand inside my work to kind of guide my needle. I'm gonna put it into one of these columns and I'm going to weave it under. 
See, that's a full stockinette stitch, and I'm gonna go all the way around, weaving my needle in and out, okay? Now let's look a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. See these stockinette stitches right here? I'm going to take my needle just like this, I'm gonna drop it down in here, and I'm gonna come up in the next stitch, okay? And I'm gonna do this again, like I said, all the way around. Okay, so skip a couple, and then I'm gonna go up and into the next one and out. I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around and I'm gonna use the color join right here to kind of guide my needle and my stitches. Now I know I've got a jog right there, but I'm gonna keep it just as much as I can. You can see right here how these stitches are coming along like this. We want that all the way around. Okay, so keep going until you have it all done. See, now that I'm all done here, it's not entirely perfect, but it's pretty close, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to pull this close just like this, but not just yet. <laughs> so what we wanna do is flip it around. This is gonna be the front. And so we're gonna add our eyes, our nose, and our mouth right here. I'm ready to come in now with my safety eyes. So where you place your eyes is really personal preference. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with this one here. I usually go about two inches from the neck all right, and then the most important part, right, is just to make sure that your eyes are on the same row, All right? So we don't want, when we go to stuff it, right, we don't want to have eyes that are lopsided or cross-eyed or things like that, right? So again, you wanna just double check and make sure that you have your eyes on that same row. Now, my safety nose, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it right here, All right? Kind of get a feel for where I want it, so right in the middle. So I haven't secured my safety nose yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add my facial features just like this, okay? And I, I add these facial features first and then I secure my safety nose because it's difficult for me to get my needle under the nose once it's secure. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just get that secure and I'm gonna add a couple more features to the eyes. Once you're all done, flip it inside out and just right here so you can go ahead and secure it. Now we're ready to stuff the head. Okay, so now if you notice here, what I'm doing is I'm pulling apart the polyfiber and the reason I do that is because I wanna make sure that my head is not lumpy. Okay, so now that I've got a good feel for that, I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing. Now you wanna start shaping the head just like this. You don't wanna overstuff. You don't wanna pull those too taut. So now I have just enough stuffing and I am going to pull on those two threads that I just did earlier and I'm going to make the neck portion, right? Or basically, right, to separate the head from the body. Okay, I've got it secured with the surgeon's knot and I'm gonna shape my head just a little bit. So you can see, there's a head. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and double thread uh, a needle like this with some yarn and before I stuff the body I'm actually going to add some stitches here along the bottom and all the way around so you can see up close I'm going in here kind of in the ditch right so I am tucking my needle in here so I can pick up all of my work okay so you want to take your time here and go all the way around. Okay, so now we're back to the end and now we're going to start stuffing our body. Okay again, so just keep working that stuffing, shape your body as you go. Again, don't overstuff, okay? Just enough, keep shaping, keep shaping. Okay, now that I'm at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it closed. Make sure all of our stuffing stays down in there and away from our knot. Okay, so pull it tight and secure with a surgeon's knot. Okay, keep shaping the body. And now we're going to be ready to start making our limbs.
So now we have both of our arms off of the loom. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a stretch. If you gave the illusion of pause, make sure you do your color join. Okay, so don't forget to knot that join. So now I'm gonna pull each end closed just like this. Now as you pull it shut, your work is already going to start to want to curve in on itself. So go ahead and let it. Just fold it in just like this. See that? Now I'm going to actually start on this end, and then this end here is going to attach to the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mattress stitch it. I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to start here, and go all the way up to the top. Okay? So again, closer up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to actually add a couple of stitches here just to keep this limb closed, just like that, so pull it nice and tight. Now I'm going to mattress stitch, starting from the top all the way down to the bottom. To do a mattress stitch, that means to go in between the stockinette stitches and pick up those horizontal bars. You wanna pick up the same amount of stitches on both sides. Now if you're going amber, I don't really know how to do this very well, that is okay, just keep practicing, you will get it. Okay, the important thing, right, is just to get it to close. Now, if mattress stitch really isn't your thing, you can also just put your needle underneath the stitches like this, okay? And then weave it back and forth all the way down to the bottom. So I wanna show you here where the purple is, it's a little bit easier to see. This is what I'm talking about. See, it's not a mattress stitch, but just go through all four of those pieces. It's gonna lay flat anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so just do whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, and you're gonna do that all the way down for both pieces. So now we have both of our legs knitted. And we're going to follow the exact same procedure that we did for the arms. Again, so I'm going to pull each end closed and I'm going to secure that color join. You can see it here. And then pull it closed. Okay. So both her ears are knitted, and now I wanna show you how I close up the end. Okay, so we want it to kinda of curve. Now I'm gonna put in my straight needle just like this and put a few whip stitches here. This is gonna close up our tube. You can see I already have two stitches here and it's already pulling in on itself, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so keep adding a couple of stitches here. All right, so less is more. So again, this is really a matter of personal preference, but I like to keep this end really neat and secure. This is the side of the ear that's not going to be attached to the head. It's also gonna take quite a bit of wear and tear. So you wanna add those stitches and add a couple of knots and then weave it in down in here. So now that we have it knotted, go ahead and weave it through the two layers. Use your scissors to trim the end. Trim the yarn amber, not the ear. There we go. Okay, so nice, neat, and clean. We've arrived at the fun part. Here's our ears, arms, and legs. Now it's time to sew. The first thing I always sew is the ears. Placement is important, not too low, and don't put them all the way at the top just like this. I like to keep them on either side of the head like this, 
and I try to make sure that they are a couple of finger widths apart. The reason is is because these ears are very heavy and you don't want them to be lopsided. It will pull your bunny to either side. One best practice is you can also line up the ear along either side of those eyes. I'm going to use these plastic needles to hold my ears in place so once I kind of figure out where I want them, I'm going to kind of stab them in here like this. I don't use traditional pins for this type of work because I lose them. All right, so again, kind of stab that in there just like that. Now I'm going to whip stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle in here and I'm going to go through all the layers as much as possible. Okay. I always kind of start in the center because this pulls right and keeps that tube closed. Okay. And then I'm going to keep going around. Okay. Keep whip stitching. Now I try to do my best to go through all four layers. So I'm going to go through both the layers of the ear and then I'm going to go through the layers of the head. Okay. So after you get a few stitches in here, you will be able to take out that blue needle and keep pulling it tight. Okay. It gets a little bit awkward at first, I know, because, you know, things are kind of lopsided. Um, but just keep doing this. Okay. And you want to try to spread out your stitches as much as possible. So you can see I only have three stitches here, but it's already pretty secure. Okay. Now, again, you want to just double check, make sure your ear is in the right place. Once you're feeling good about where it's landing, then you're going to go ahead and keep adding stitches. You're going to do this on this side and also on that side. Now I'm ready to attach my arms. So I'm going to put them right there in the crevice of the neck, so right under the head, okay, on either side. I like to angle them slightly forward at about a 45 degree angle, just like this, so that way they fall forward. Go ahead and tuck your needles in here like this to hold them in place. And just a reminder, you want to attach them to the body, not the head. Okay, so right in there just like that. Now we're ready to place our legs right here on the bottom. So again, I'm going to slightly angle them and make sure that the seams are facing down. And again, put them at an angle just like this so that your bunny will sit. Okay, so now go ahead and attach both of them with whip stitches. When you attach your pom-pom tail, you wanna make sure that it sits slightly up on the back. Okay, so not too low on the bottom. Okay, this will make sure that your bunny will sit upright, so right there along the back. Okay, go ahead and stitch that in place right in that area there. Well, you did it. You made your own floppy ear bunny, complete with your furry tail back here on the back. And you can see I actually just took those yarn pieces and made a bow, but you can make a bow from any other material. So there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.